for Instagram making uh, curd rice uh, and for this I'm using fresh yogurt curd that I've made at home you need to make sure it's not too tangy or sour else you won't uh, get the real fun so try using a fresh preparation and for the tempering I'm using some cumin seeds uh, some yellow mustard because I like it a bit soft so you can use a regular rye black mustard and uh, uh, this uh, dhania that is uh, cilantro and then curry leaves this is a must a uh, bit of ginger you can find julienne so that it doesn't come in mouth and for the color and health i'm putting uh, raw uh, turmeric and green chili obviously for that tang and uh, peppy effect and uh, I'm preparing rice now. I'll uh, give. Uh, I'm using regular sunflower oil. You can use ghee, desi ghee also for the tempering. So now in the curd, I've put some salt as per taste and put raw chili. You can put the chili in the tempering uh, part also, but I like the rawness and the punch, so I put it this way. Now I will add um, uh, the hara dhania uh, for the freshness. You can add many vegetables out here as per your taste. But let it not be in too much quantity because it would, uh, it might dominate the taste. Uh, uh, the curd rice texture needs to be uh, uh, maintained. So now once this is there, you need to give it a good good mix, and then put in the tempering over. It. You can see I have julienne, the uh, ginger, and uh, the raw turmeric, very fine. And I'm also using asafoetida powder. Uh, it's very necessary. Once the oil is hot. Uh, you put in the jeera and the dal that you're using chana dal or urad dal black lentils or black bengal horse gram now you put in the ginger and the curry leaves and the asafoetida once the tempering is ready you just need to put it if it's very hot I'll put it over the leaves, not directly over the curd because it's tight to curdle. Now you have to mix it thoroughly so that the curd gets all the flavor of the tempering and then it can evenly get into the rice. So that's why I put the rice at the last. You can see a yellow hue due to the uh, raw turmeric that I've used very good smell is coming out of this this is the main base if you prepare this well then you get a good flavor now I'll put the rice this is the rice I'm using I have uh, put finely diced carrot and beans French beans to give it further nutrition and a bit of bite uh, um, you can let all the steam come out and be a bit cold so when you put it in the curd and you can also serve it cold if you want you can put it in the fridge to cool up and you can use mushy rice if you need uh, I'm re using regular basmati rice now you put it in the curd mixture that you have prepared and then give it a very good mix you can use milk also to get a bit of consistency, flowing consistency that you want. It's your dish, you need to eat it, so just customize it as, as per whatever your fancies are. The, any, any taste profile that your palate allows, you can put in accordingly. Keep on experimenting and get a, a very good output of the lovely south indian dish that this is very cooling soothing on the body and i love it and i don't put it uh, to any lunch or dinner i kind of can eat it at any time and uh, i even serve it to my friends and they like it very good now um, i garnish it with uh, pomegranate seeds uh, because you know while you're eating it every now and then this seed pops up in your mouth and gives you that uh, sweet flavor and you kind of just relish it too much so I, I just put it uh, as much as I want and it's really good 
I hope you like the recipe. Try it and give comments. Thank you.